Placing your text on a path does not have to be difficult and you don't even need Adobe Illustrator or some other software to do it because you can do it super easily in Kittle. We have made the process as easy as just a click of a button and you have complete control on where your text goes. Now, if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using that first link down in the description and let me show you exactly what I mean. To get started, we're gonna add some text over here from the left panel and then we are going to change the color just to something that works well with this lighter blue in the background. And then all we need to do is type in what we want to say. So this is going to be Sir Douglas and we'll do something with this here in a second, but just type in what you need to say and then we can get started with this path tool. So if we go down over here to the transformation section in the bottom right, you see this custom section. So if I click it, all these little anchor points and nodes are going to come up. And if I grab one with the mouse, I click and hold, I can move it around super easily and I can really get super customizable with this. I can move these little paths around I can make them sharper I can make them more angled like a like 90 degrees or something like that or I can make them nice and curved and then I can grab this far right or far left and move it with the path now if you don't want that you can easily just click it to turn it off boom it's gone or you can start again by clicking the custom button again and then boom it resets it like that now what we can do is go ahead and mess around with this to get something like how we want it. I think I might start with something curved up like this and I will probably duplicate it. Now, if you don't like that, you can hit that reset transform and go back and we can start this over again just to show you how easy it is to do. Now I'm gonna turn the grid on. You can hit that in the settings cog up there in the top right. You can turn your grid on that way. Um, and I'm going to make sure I use the grid to show how much space I need to be from the top and bottom. So you can see here, I'm just slightly below that top bar. It's not quite touching that top line, but I'm gonna use this as a basis for the other part of my text. So if I duplicate this, hold Alter Option and drag, I can move that middle point downwards, change my text. I'm gonna speed up through this to barbershop. And then I'm going to make sure that it is aligned together here. And now what's really cool is if I go over to the effects panel, any effect I put on here, you can see this color cut decoration, even if I change the color, anything, Thing, nothing is happening to the path it's still perfect so any effects that you put on this are going to be handled perfectly so you can get really wild you can put 3d shading on here you can put drop shadow whatever you want to do and the path is not going to get weird it's not going to be distorted much like something that might happen in illustrator this is doing it all for you now let's make a little layout here we're going to just do this easily so i'm showing you kind of what's capable once you use this warp tool now let's do something a little bit different let's say we have a banner here and we want to put some text on that path of the banner so let's add this banner here really easy to do we'll do a little bit of color swapping here let's change our colors so that they're kind of in line with that background blue that we've got going on right here and now let's add some text you can hit the T button to add some text we're gonna change that color kind of to make it look like it's cut out now we're gonna choose a different font we have so many different fonts that you can choose from and we're constantly adding more so let's just type in wild so we're, that's gonna be our word for right now and we'll hit our custom transformation once again and now we can move these little points so that we can make it follow the path of this banner so you can see how this banner is kind of starting in the bottom left and curving Curving upwards around to the top right you know how a banner might flow in the wind or something and so I'm just using these little anchor points to make it look like it is going in that direction that kind of up and right area now we can add some spacing here in between so that it's even easier and it's easy it's easier to read so to speak now let's duplicate it and I want to show you a difference here so that was done with the custom transform tool now we also have a different tool that has paths like this that has a little anchor points but you can see in the transformation there in the bottom right we also have this thing called the rise effect so if i take one of these and just let's just duplicate it so i can show you the difference here so now let's grab one of these and i'm going to show you how the rise effect is different so if i grab this one and i click the rise I still have points, I still have anchor points I can mess around with and I can use this slider down here too if I would like. Um, but when I'm moving these around, 
you can tell already that the proportion kind of the perspective of this text is angled upward right so it's kind of bent it's slightly distorted upward like this so that it's kind of waving with that banner now if you look up at the top you can see they're very straight each letter is straight towards the banner and if you look down at the bottom it's been angled slightly upwards so that you know either one they're both easy to read you, you could go either way and just wanted to show you the difference there so now let's grab an illustration I'm going to show you how you could easily use this technique this text on a path technique I'm going to speed up through this um, so that you see the capability of doing something Something like this so we're gonna build this little layout here life is good when you're a cat uh, we're gonna pick a different font put this up and then if I hit the custom path I have as much flexibility as I want to start moving all of this text around so you can see I hope the possibilities are coming to you in your mind how endless this can be uh, when doing text around an illustration maybe doing text for a logo in some sort of crazy shape that you come up with or crazy illustration that you're choosing or whatever the, the possibilities are endless and it's something easy like this and that would make a great shirt or a coffee cup or anything like that now let's do something else so I'm gonna put this heart here in the middle now the heart's not gonna stay there forever but I want to show you again how powerful the transform tool there is in the, in the bottom right for the text the custom path tool so I'm just gonna lower the opacity on this heart and we're gonna make the text outline this entire heart or I guess maybe I should say we're gonna put this text in the shape of a heart so I'm speeding up through this because I think you get the idea it's easy to make any kind of shape with the path tool, the text on a path tool. So boom, now we can do a little layout here in the middle, and it's just that easy in just a matter of seconds. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this, and if you do, I'd love to see it, so tag us on social. You can find those links down in the description. Now, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up button. We would love that, and until next time, create magic.